good morning. It's actually more like noon, but good morning anyway. Uh, we're going to keep this good, good, good tradition going. We are at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. We have arrived after a very rough morning and a very long drive. Uh, but we're here, ready for the weekend and ready to take you along for the ride. So um, I hope you're going to enjoy it. We are going to make the most of this weekend and uh, we're going to see a hell of a lot of very epic cars. It didn't really take long to find some epic cars, did it? And that is quite the startup. Pretty amazing what you can find here. There were some Group C Jaguars, and then in the exact opposite side, we have C types, D types. And then we've got this BMW V12 LMR, beautiful LMR car from I think 1999, yes indeed. Um, this car won LMR, very beautiful, enormously amazing and loud sound coming from a McLaren F1 engine. Um, yeah, just completely, utterly nuts car. You know, the cool thing about the Festival of Speed is, in my opinion, that it's truly a festival. You'll see uh, families running around here, um, people with children, lots of women, and that's, that's a great thing to see. Like, a lot of car events just attract a lot of guys, a lot of men, which is normal. Um, but this, this is truly a festival. It's for everyone. Now, if you follow us on Instagram, you might have noticed a few days ago that I did a metal building kit, kit of a Porsche 959, like this one over here. Um, that post is still online, if you want to check it out, go and do so. Uh, it was a pretty fun thing to do. I run into this metal building kit of a Porsche 959 in a second hand store that we locally had in Belgium. And uh, I bought it, built it, and made a few uh, Instagram pictures of it. So that, that was really cool to do, and it's uh, actually quite, quite fun to run into a real 959 right now. Um, so yeah, go check that out on Instagram, Mr. Grace and G. Martini liveried cars, which one would you love to have a go in? I think I would take that Targa Florio Porsche 2.1 uh, Carrera RSR with the lengthened uh, ducktail that goes all the way to the, to the rear fenders. I think it's a beautiful car and I also think it's a lot of fun to drive. Um, I think the Moby Dick is just, it's too powerful for me, I think. I would kill myself in that car. Uh, also in the turbo RSR that's right next to it. Um, but that, that RSR Targa Florio really looks beautiful and I think it's, it's a lot of fun to drive. And then second place, probably the uh, Delta S4, definitely. Uh, let me know which one you would uh, love to have a go in out of all these beautiful martini cars. what it's all about, isn't it? We've got Derek Bell sitting right there, then two 917s right here, and a bunch of other beautiful Porsches coming all together in the pre-grid. 
pretty epic place to be right now. Pretty epic place to be right now. That is the portion number one, the very first portion that was ever built. I can't hold myself, I have to take a look at it from close up. Uh, so let's go. You know, the fun thing is when history comes together like this and you look at it in retrospect, you see that like 50, 60 horsepower Porsche right there. Then you walk a few uh, meters or uh, yards and then you find one of the most powerful Porsches ever made, the 1,200 horsepower 91710. <laughs> Frustrating, but I'll still appreciate it. Made it there. Didn't stall it, Jenny, so that's a, that's a win. That's a good start, man. Gotta be getting and taking photos. And this is an absolutely massive car. It's so big, um, it's pretty unbelievable. I mean, the tire, the rear tires on their own are simply more massive than, your, than the tires that you're going to see on any modern race car right now. They are simply immense. I'll uh, give you a look, good look at them. my way to my epic spot to film the cars and over to my right there are every single year a lot of beautiful and stunning cars as well and we'll go there either later today or tomorrow so stay tuned for that as well
was that was batch five, all the Porsches, and now they are arriving here, right in front of the Goodwood house that's behind me, and uh, this is going to be pretty beautiful. I don't know where to look, this is quite epic. I don't know where to look, but I'm doing my best. One thing is for damn sure, 
and that is that it's not going to get more epic than this or at least not much more epic than this and if someone said to me three years ago Robin we're going to stand in front of the Goodwood house in the middle of some of the most legendary Porsches ever made gathering all around you I'd say you'd be effing crazy but um, here I am enjoying one of the best moments of my life yet again this is truly epic and I'm extremely grateful that I can share it with all of you um, yeah I'm just I'm still taking it all in and all the while looking at this beautiful Porsche uh, 917 Golf livery with uh, behind it the 917-10 in front of it a 910 in front of that 935 in front of that the Moby Dick in front of that the pink big 991 RSR um, yeah it's pretty so you can see them right here 917 9110 and so on and so on um, it's pretty epic it's pretty epic and it's going to stay like this for the entire weekend I could go home happy right now but we've got two more days to go so that's an extreme amount of fun and well we'll take you with us on this epic ride throughout the Goodwood Festival of Speed and um, well now we're going to get some lunch and I'll see you in about an hour after we fill our stomachs and are re-energized. After a very nice lunch it's once again time to uh, enjoy a few action shots here at the uh, Festival of Speed uh, and we're getting ready to film Grid or Batch, I'm still talking in uh, more classic terms here. Uh, we're getting ready for, to watch Batch 3 and Batch 4, yeah that's it. cars racing up the hill it's time to end today's video today's vlog uh, we'll be back tomorrow of course with uh, more action and more coverage from the Goodwood Festival of Speed uh, but for now good night and uh, have a fantastic weekend